Hey guys, Dabu7, some more survival tactics. Wanted to do an update here on the Echo Capsules. I talked about these before, but it looks like now, these solar and wind-powered capsules are going to be hitting the market. They say right now, 50 limited edition pods are now available for pre-order. Now, what is so unique about these things is, I mean, you can take them just about anywhere. And, of course, they are super small and compact. And this isn't going to be, you know, for a house full of people to move in here. But inside each pod, it will provide the space and living quarters for at least two people. There's a kitchen. It has a two-burner stove, as you can see here. It has a sink. The bathroom is complete with a shower and a waterless toilet. And it has a living room that has a sofa that converts into a double bed. And you can see more of the details here at this link. There's a good shot. And I mean, you can park this thing just about anywhere. That is an amazing shot. But when it comes to survival and trying to break away from the grid... This is just another option that I came across that I wanted to share with you guys. And you can see it has the solar panels to take in all the solar energy and it stores it. As well as having the wind turbine which collects energy as well. And given the shape of it, the water runs around this and is collected down on the bottom. And as they show in the video, it too helps to make energy. I'm not sure if they have small turbines down there. Um, it's something I thought about a long time ago, um, especially when it came out with the gutter guards where nothing but water could go into the, the gutters of your home. Fill those those pipes coming down the side up with a bunch of little spindles, turbines, that all spin as the water flows over top of them. As long as you're not getting debris in there and you've got good gutter guards, all that water flowing down through those drains is going to generate energy. You see, they can be saved. These are the things and the ways that you have to think in terms of storing power and having it um, for things you're going to need for cooking and things like that. So I just wanted to share with you guys another option when it comes to survival out there. This being a newer product that they're just now pushing out, I'd say by 2017, you'll see a lot of these out there. And if all else fails, if you can't afford one of these, it can at least give you the general idea on how to build something yourself. Easily transportable here. And it is simply combining all these different features into this one little home to be able to, to provide you with power, energy, heat, air, to do everything that you need to do off-grid, so to speak, and make it on your own. So it's pretty cool knowing that you can set these things up pretty much anywhere. I'll leave links. Until next time, Spendabu7. Peace.